Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have square root of b divided by b is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for all the values of b. Uh, so first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Now uh, further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method we move uh, this b to the right hand side you see here b is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 5 so after moving b to the right hand side we will get a square root of b is equals to 5 times of b and further because we solve this problem for the values of b so that's why we need to remove the square root sign from left hand side so when we remove the square root sign uh, it will be written as uh, in order to remove square root sign we just do uh, squaring on both of the sides and now you see here this two and this square root are gone and we will get here b is equals to here we apply this square separately on both of these values and we know about that uh, the square of 5 becomes 25 and the square of b becomes b square and now further in the next step uh, we move this b to the right hand side and it will be written as this is positive b when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative b and we will get here uh, 25 times of b square this is minus b and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write uh, here you take common b and we get the remaining values are 25 times of b minus from here we get 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write b is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 25b minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is the first uh, root of the given equation and from here we get the second root so that uh, we need uh, to move this minus 1 to the right hand side and when we move this minus 1 to the right hand side it will become 25b is equals to plus 1. Further for the values of b we divide both of the sides by 25. So when we divide uh, both of the sides by 25 it will become here in this form and now you see that this 25 is cancelled out by this 25 and we will get here b is equals to uh, 1 divided by 25 so this is the value of b which we get here so now you see that we get two values of b and now here in the next step we need to verify that is both of these two values are a solution or both of these two values are extraneous root so uh, for this we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of b divided by b is equals to 5 this is the our given question statement and uh, in this side we will be verify b is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify b is equals to 1 over 25 so here uh, when we substitute b is equal to 0 into the left hand side and we check its behavior and it will be written as now we have square root of 0 divided by 0 is equal to 5 and we know that square root of 0 becomes 0 over 0 is equal to 5. So 0 over 0 is usually called that uh, it is the indeterminate form. So if this is uh, indeterminate form, so it means that uh, or in other words we say that it is uh, undefined form. Okay, it is undefined so if this is undefined uh, this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal so we can clear about that b is equals to 0 be the extraneous root so we have b is equals to 0 be the extraneous root okay so uh, we move towards the second root 
and we have uh, the second value of b is 1 over 25 so we substitute this value into the left hand side and it will become uh, square root of 1 over 25 divided by 1 over 25 is equals to 5 or not so here we know that a square root of 1 becomes 1 and a square root of 25 becomes 5 and it is divided by 1 over 25 and this is equals to 5 or not and here uh, we need more simplification and we uh, just uh, reciprocal the denominator and it will be written as 1 over 5 multiplied by 25 over 1 is equals to 5 or not and you see here this is 5 times 5 becomes 25 and we will get here 5 is equals to 5 so this shows that the value of b is equals to 1 over 25 is satisfied our given question statement so we conclude about the solution set of this question is that uh, 1 over 25 be the solution of this problem in first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of b divided by b is equals to 5 so uh, in the second method we just do another technique uh, another shortest technique to find the values of b so here uh, in this technique we uh, just rewrite our denominator term as uh, this is b only and we write this b as square root of b into square root of b is equals to 5 and you see here this square root of b is cancelled out by this square root of b and we get here 1 divided by square root of b is equals to 5. So here our target is to find the value of b so that we move the square root of b to the right hand side and 5 to the left hand side. So we replace these two values. After replacing these two values we will get here a square root of b is equals to 1 divided by 5. So for the values of b we need to take squaring on both of the sides. So when you will take squaring it will be written as this 2 and square root are gone and we get b is equals to here square of 1 becomes 1 and square of 5 becomes 25. So this is the value of b which we get here from second method so that uh, finally we have the solution set of the given question is that the 1 over 25 because we already verified this value of b into the first method and we see that this value satisfied our given question statement. So this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.